Hello, welcome to School of Quilting. I'm Madeline, and today we're gonna do a really fun project and make these quilted koozies for your soup bowls. Let's get started. You, you are going to need two 10 inch squares of fabric, two nine inch squares of batting. I do recommend that you use batting that is specifically designed to go in the microwave. This is Wrap and Zap, and it says right on the packaging, perfect for microwavable projects. So, look for that. You do not want to use anything with a blend or that has a scrim. You also are gonna wanna check your thread count. You wanna use 100% cotton thread if this is going to be used in the microwave. You're gonna need a pair of scissors or your rotary cutter a ruler, some pins, and a marking tool. Okay, our first step is going to be to flip our fabric over, and we are going to center the batting in the middle. We about a half inch from the edge. You don't have to check it, you can just eyeball it. Now go ahead and you can put a couple pins in. You don't need that many. The batting will stick to the fabric pretty well. Okay, we are going to flip it over and you're going to align your ruler from point to point on the diagonal. Rotate. and you'll have an X marked on your square. Now we are going to sew along our X. Now that we have our X in the middle, we are going to fold our square. And we are going to measure in two inches from the edge of the fabric on both sides. Then we're going to measure one inch up from the fold. Take your ruler at a diagonal and you're going to align it with your two marks to make a triangle.
Now, for a minute, you're gonna unfold and you're gonna rotate and you're gonna mark this side now also because it's easier to do it now than once you've sewn one side together. So two inches and one inch. So two inches, one inch. So you're gonna mark two inches from the edge over and one inch from the fold. Rotate your ruler to line up with the two marks you made and draw a line creating this triangle. Okay, now we are going to sew first along these two and then we'll do a little rotation and catch the other seam. Just go ahead and clip the triangle, leaving about a quarter inch seam allowance. Now we are going to unfold it and refold it where our lines are marked. Do the same thing. Okay, now you're gonna pop that open, see how it is becoming a bowl. Okay, pop those open. Look how cute that's gonna be. Okay, now, we are going to put them right sides together and we are gonna align the seams. Nest them into place. And since we need to turn it right side out, let's go ahead and 
mark a starting point that's just about a half inch from a center seam. And we'll go to about three quarter inch from the corner. And this space we are not gonna sew over right now. We're gonna start sewing here and we are gonna backstitch when we start sewing because whenever I find that I'm turning stuff inside out, if I don't backstitch, you kind of start unraveling your seam. So we are going to start here with a couple back stitches and then go all the way around and stop when we hit this mark. Okay, we've sewn all the way around except for where we are going to turn it. And let's do a little trimming here. I'm gonna trim our corners to reduce bulk. And I am gonna do a little slash snip there at these seams just to help for when we're turning it. Okay, it's looking cute. I have this thing called a purple thing and I'm gonna use it to help push those corners out, but it is not necessary to have one of these, but it does a nice job. So if you do a lot of things with corners, you might wanna get a purple thing. Oh, loving it. Okay. Now, I am going to give it a little bit of a press before we do the final stitching. So, let's... Okay, and when we're pressing, let's check this opening because we want to fold it over and when we go and sew the top stitching, it's gonna catch that opening. Okay, this turned out so cute in there, so easy to make that there's nothing stopping you. If you love Halloween and soup, go ahead and whip up a few of these to showcase your favorite Halloween fabric and then serve it to people you love with your favorite soup. Let me know in the comments if you make one and don't forget to subscribe. Happy sewing.